Hello Bakers, today I'm going to show you how to check some analytics about your models. It's very important to keep in mind polygon, triangles and vertex count for your assets, especially if you're working for game development. Now let's roll the intro. Whenever you are modeling assets in your work or you are just starting and you are applying for a new job, you will all the time hear about polygon budget or about vertex budget. These are two things which are very important because if we create assets and they are extremely heavy, it will be very slow and very painful for us to render them and to work with them and overall to create the final visualization of them. So usually we have a budget for each scene and this way we can keep everything nice and optimized. And you will see that it's not always needed to have a very high polygon count or vertex count in order to have a very detailed models. We will be exploring in the future about baking different textures, transferring some of the details from a very high poly model to a low poly model by baking normal maps or height maps. Now I just want to show you how you can check the polygon budget and something that you can observe while you're working on your models. If we click on the plus and we go on the configure viewport, then we can go on the statistics and here we can see that there's a different elements that we can get statistics for. We have by default polygons, vertex count and frames per second. We can also turn on triangle count and then we can have total selected or total plus selected. I usually like to have the total plus selected. This way I can see how many polygons or vertices I have for the whole scene and also how many I have exactly for the selected model. I'll click apply and OK. And now to toggle this and see it in our viewport, we need to hit 7 on the keyboard. When I do this, we can see that we have our total and then we have polygons, triangles and vertices. If I select this mesh, you can see that I have also the statistics for it and of course the name. But if I create another sphere next to it, you can see that now we have the total here, but if I select the box, we have only the statistics for this element or we have only the statistics for the box. Thank you for joining me today. Like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the other parts of this series.